you know. Okay. So, okay, before, is there more in the strength set? Yeah, that's true. Okay, so let's, let's review. So, because there, you know, we all have um, different, we have raw mixture of all of them, right? But it's about what's dominant, what's like really strong you. Okay, so for sure, for sure, air signs are geniuses, or they're they're more like the, the creative types, they're thinkers, because air represents speech, and air represents thought. So speech and thought usually come down to creativity. So um, these would be like um, Nobel Peace winners, like writers or playwrights, or um, revolutionary, like Martin Luther King, he was, uh, he was an Aquarius. Um, so they're known for their creativity and their expression, their communication. That's a really dominant thing for, and their idealism. Um, what is a weakness? Um, three for procrastination. <laughs> the majority went has six hundred and nine said ambivalence. Slash indecisive. Indecisive. Yes. Oh yeah. 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 Um, yeah. I in the end decided on that. Stubbornness. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's what I'm that. Easily distracted. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. That's awesome. Woo! For me. Thank you guys. Agree. This is honestly right here. That's why I said to one of the groups how important it is um, to to talk about the weaknesses because if you don't know what to deal with, then you can't fix it. I would say the tycoon of air signs in general, um, and if you come to part two of my class, I, I go into it more specifically, but um, the number one problem with air signs is that they can't make up their minds about anything. Because, <laughs> because when you think so much, you, you, you love to think. So why, why choose one thing to think about or why choose one thing to Fire. So let's bring up the fire. 